What's up everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to another video as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. Now in this video we'll be making a sea moss shampoo. Yes a sea moss shampoo. Sea moss is considered a superfood and you'll find out why in this video. So sit back relax and enjoy the show. <laughs> Now guys, I was able to get me some sea moss from a local black owned business right here in South Philadelphia. They are called Black and Noble. They do online shipping. I'll have all their information in my description so you can go and shop around. This is my first time experimenting with sea moss, so I'm doing it with you guys right here together. Now, sea moss feels like a dried out noodle. If you guys have never touched it before, I did go ahead and just measure out one cup, and the first thing we're gonna have to do is clean it off. So I am looking for warm water to clean it off and try not to have the pressure up too high because we don't want to damage the sea moss. But go ahead and start to fill the bowl with water and we're going to use friction to clean the sea moss. By gently rubbing your hands in the sea moss you are now creating friction and friction is what is going to help clean the sea moss. Now remember guys sea moss did come from the sea so we want to get off whatever we think is in there before we put it in our mixture to use in our hair. So continue to keep cleaning until we go to the next step. Now guys, I do have here with me some bottled water. I would recommend alkaline water when doing this mixture, but that's all I had in the house was Poland Spring. Go ahead and measure out one cup and start to put it over your sea moss. The goal of using one and a half cups of water to one cup of sea moss is to have the sea moss soak up all the water and expand overnight. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this with a lid and we're going to allow it to sit for 24 hours and we'll be back soon to see if it soaked up all the water. 24 hours later. Guys, it is the next day and I am so excited to see if the water soaked up. So pulling back and there is our cooked noodles. Just kidding. That's our sea moss soaked up. Majority of the water did soak up into the sea moss, so I'm so happy that it did work. You're certainly going to want to wait 24 hours before you start to use your sea moss. Let's move on to our ingredients. The first thing you'll need is a sea moss soap. Again, you can get this from Black and Noble. The next thing you'll also use is the avocado oil, coconut oil, pure almond oil, castor oil black Jamaican castor oil, rosehip seed oil, and rose water. I was so blown away by the smell. The smell of the sea moss soap from Black and Noble smells so good, guys. It really lit up my kitchen. I am going to take one third of the soap and we'll store the rest away. Now the next steps are you're going to want to shave that soap down. I would recommend shaving it down into a little bit smaller chunks than I did because we are going to have to let the soap dissolve in hot water. The smaller the chunks the better and the shorter the time that you'll have to wait. Guys, my soap is all shaved down. Now I'm going to go ahead and take one cup of hot steaming water from my kettle. We're going to pour that directly over the shaved soap. Now I didn't feel like that was enough, so I did take a half a cup and pour it over the soap again. Now go ahead and give it a good stir. To speed up the process, I am going to go ahead and just cover this with aluminum foil. You can use any type of lid that you have a laying around your house. Now look at the difference in the soap. It is so much more murkier and you can tell that some of the soap definitely dissolved. Now the remaining soap that was in there, I did go ahead and just strain it out. If you want to wait, you can, but we got to get this show on the road. Go ahead and start adding in some of your oils and I am using half a tablespoon for each oil.
Alright, so here's where things get interesting. Go ahead and take your overnight sea moss and throw that right into your blender, guys. I am going to go ahead and turn my blender on, and we're going to blend for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now, I would not suggest doing this next step, but I did wind up putting the sea moss soap in the blender, and it made it really foamy. Now, the reason that I wouldn't suggest doing it like this is because a lot of suds were created once I put the sea moss in the blender and it created a layer of suds but not to worry I do have a solution for that I have a juicer jug here this did come with my juicer it was specially designed to separate the liquid from the foam so I am going to go ahead and just pour my shampoo mixture in here and in hopes that the foam will stay back and all of the shampoo will come out and you can see right there that there is a little lid separation where the foam will be held back and all of the shampoo will be released from the tub I am so happy that this jug technique did in fact work guys the shampoo who is coming out super thick and all of the suds are being held back in the jug now I can go ahead to the next step you're gonna want to go ahead and just take your mixture feel around if there's any texture in it I did feel a little bit of graininess so I am taking a cheesecloth and I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out the shampoo now this is in hopes to leave the graininess in the cheesecloth and to have nothing left but a nice smooth mixture once you feel as though your mixture is nice and smooth, we can move on to the next steps, which would be the final step. Go ahead and open your applicator bottle and we're going to transfer that mixture right on in. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, sea moss is a superfood. It does carry 98 of the 102 minerals that we do need for our body. Sea moss is good for consumption, also on the skin and for the hair. And there you have it guys, this is my version of the Seamoss Shampoo for Natural Hair. Please stick around for the next video as I go into farther depth about the Black and Noble products. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Aaliyah, this is As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real.